So, um, welcome to the Late 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 Show again. Uh, basically, we will have a few little clips before we start the game, which will be leading up to episode 3, where we actually start getting a real feel of like Science Theater 3000. Basically, most of the people from the, the cast last time couldn't make it and they voted on Halloween Town. So we decided that we were going to do a spin-off of the Scooby-Doo movie that we did last time, the PG-13 Scooby-Doo. And this one stars the cranky uncle, Scrappy-Doo and the Windows machine trying to go into basic. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> this is still recording? Yes. Okay. Sorry, Windows, we don't like you at the moment. So let's start off the game. We're going to be jumping over to the studio, also known as the character sheets. Just because that's how we always do this. So for anyone that's new to this game and wants to learn how to play it or find a PDF of it, it's very hard to find. It's out of print. Uh, company's gone. You can try looking for it on eBay. It's not on Amazon. Or you can try looking for... I said a location last time that we noted about, but I don't remember the name of it. Um, Nightly something. But, yeah. But if you can't find it, then try to find Reichstar. Yeah, if you can find it, help us out finding other abandoned games that aren't existing anymore. So, I am your host, Phil. I will also be playing Demona in the short skits before and after, along with other people doing puppets and whatnot. Uh, I want to bring back old games. Games that don't exist anymore that were amazing that no one played. Sort of a second chance at life? Hmm. Eh basically trying to rekindle the old games. So next I'm going to pass it to Corey, a uh, little introduction. Hello everybody, uh, let's see, my character, her, act her the actress's name is December Alford, um, her body, not bodyguard, uh, stunt person is named uh, Maxwell Gobbleneck. Um, and in the game, which the characters that you have play the roles in the movie, the role she'll be playing is uh, Deirdre, which is the knockoff of Daphne. Okay. And that's one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, for my main character, not the NPC characters I will be playing, um, first let's pop up December. This is Corey's character sheet. So you can actually see what the character is like. Uh, if you want to look at the stats, pause it. That's the basics of it. Pause the thing, you can read the stats. So that would be Corey's character. My character Amelia will probably wind up, I don't know what she'll wind up being casted as. We will find out while playing the game. And Corey got kicked out of O20 again. You hit refresh, didn't you? Yeah, because it wasn't moving along with you. Uh, well, that's because I, don't, I didn't move the characters, Corey. Well, they, didn't, they weren't coming up on my screen. Oh. Yeah. That might also be a thing. Okay, so next we are going to... Uh, uh, Cider? I can't remember your name. Spider. Cider Spider. Spider. Yep. Um, I am playing an actor named Lanny Wyshack. Uh, he's an older guy, and um, uh, he's yet to be cast. It's just an just an old guy looking to pay for his uh, children's rehabilitation and um, uh, grandkids college tuition. All right. So now we would pull up the Scooby Doo opening, and then all of a sudden it'll be crossed out, and you'll see Scrappy show up on screen. And this is all uh, improvised at the moment because this is an episode we weren't planning on doing. So. You'll have Scrappy pop up on the screen, and he'll basically curse you out. He'll be like, you know, this is my show, you beep, beep, beep. <laughs>
And it will throw us to Crystal Cove. And Cody, the reason why it's not falling on my screen is because you control look where you look and everything on the screen. Okay. It doesn't follow where I drag you. <laughs> So, we show up on the old set of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated's Crystal Cove set, and all of a sudden you see the crazy high as a kite director again come waltzing over to do casting. So, uh, which which person is um, Lainey Quang? Hmm. Which? Oh, no one knows yet. We're casting it now. That's why I'm doing the director. Okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's something I do for this game. I don't think you ever did this really like this. So the, the director comes over. He takes a big whiff of his joint. And he's just like, So yeah, um, Scooby-Doo was the bomb. Everyone loved it. I they think did. what he means is that it bombed. So uh, we decided we were going to do a spin-off Because every, some people were complaining on the website saying... Where's Scrappy? I want Scrappy. They called us in because the movie everybody really wanted got um, had some production difficulties. So yeah, uh, I got a cast list here, and it's basically Scrappy Doo decided he was gonna solve the case before Fred and Daphne and everyone else. So he hires all these actors to play Fred. And Daphne and Velma, and he doesn't hire anyone for Shaggy or Scooby because he feels that they're both wastes of energy and time. So he doesn't care what you call him, but we gotta come up with a clever, catchy name and someone to play a stuck up bitch, um, a nerdy, crazy, whiny girl, some trap making psychopath. I need a oh. clipboard or something. You need a clipboard. Or a hard-covered book. Clipboard! Okay. Oh, you can't put names. Ted, Thelma, Deedva. Yeah, Deedva. And what did you, Swaggy, if you want to put him in there. Yeah, we don't have enough people, so we're not going to worry about okay, it. Okay, so I'm just going to... So it's Ted, Thelma, and Deirdre. And then Scrappy. Yes. Okay. And it's the history machine, because whatever problems they can encounter will be history. Yep. So I'm going to quickly jump over and grab the Scrappy-Doo logo, because you might want that. <laughs> Especially since it's a sequel. Well, that didn't work as planned. So, yeah. I explained to you guys the idea. I am not going to tell you who the mastermind is. You guys should have read up on your script the last time. And, um... Scrappy will give you as many hints as he possibly can, because he's a jerk. And he really, really wants to beat his uh, uncle, or whatever you call him. Uncle, uh, nephew, whatever. It's a really confusing family. But yes. So, first thing is first. Who wants to play a Fred? Also known as Ted. I'll do it. <laughs> hmm. That's awesome. A senior citizen playing Fred Jones known as Ted McGinnis. It's called Makeup and Lighting. They can do this. We can do this. They did it with what's-his-name in um, Tron. We can make you look amazing. That sounds wonderful. Just one thing. Do the manliest voice you can do. <clears throat> hey, guys. What's up? 
Hmm. It will do. Scrappy's got a raspy voice as well. So okay. Awesome. So, next we've got the Deidre. We've got two girls here. Which one wants Deidre? Okay, uh, December Alfred will uh, take that role. Well, Mrs. December, you didn't show up last time we had casting. He has an excuse. He's like 70 years old from his resume. What's your excuse? I had better things to do. Well, we do go on the sci-fi channel, so I guess that's a good excuse. And you're stuck up, so you fit her role. Okay, good. And then we've got Velma. I'm giving my script to my stunt double to read it to me. Fine. Just don't let him be seen. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a Velma, which is... Thelma. Thelma? Thelma. Thank you, production assistant. Okay. Now get me coffee. So, Thelma. <sighs> Thanks. I just want to, uh... There's only one choice here. So it's either that or Scrappy. Well, um, I don't really think I'm the right size for Scrappy, and maybe we should do a CGI. No, no, we're hiring a midget. Midgets are known as little people, and have you ever seen Game of Thrones? They're amazing. We're hiring Peter Dunkwich as the midget for Scrappy. And I'm sure he'll jump for the role because it's a sci-fi show and he loves those sci-fi and rude characters. I mean, have you ever seen him in Knights of Badass them? He swears a lot in that movie. <laughs> so yeah, here's uh, Thelma's lines and uh, meet back here uh, tomorrow. Sounds good. Okay. Are there, are there any high upscale clubs in the area? Um, it's Hollywood. Then there's plenty. Um, Deirdre, or December, is going to go hit the clubs. And then Amber would sit down, look at the script, and just kind of roll her eyes and be like, didn't I already play this story? <laughs> I think I'm just going to go take a nap in my trailer. And then unlike... What do I have to roll to see what condition she comes back in? Um, you don't really have to roll, you can just decide. Oh, I'm gonna roll. How do I roll? roll you got, you're gonna roll, so go to roll 20. You do it inside of roll 20. Uh, the tab, isn't it the tab right there? Yeah. No, you're in it. The top. Okay. Click down here. Type slash roll. And then space and put in whatever dice you want. Say D and then whatever it is. Oop, you messed it up. And I hit the mic. Uh, oh, you might want the, the hundred, not the zeros. Okay. Um, and then you hit enter. Let's see, what's our bill? Uh, I'm going to go... 17? Okay, how bad off is she? What do I get, a turn? Yep. You gonna see how drunk she got? 16! Not at oh, all! She made it. She she outdrank everybody. She was the last one dancing. Everyone else is either passed out, dead on the floor, or gone home, and she, she left when the sun came up. Okay. So now we gotta do a different Scooby Doo opening theme because sh Scrappy is not gonna approve. Maybe. If it plays, which it doesn't. Oh, come on. What? Your apple? I don't know what he would play. What 
What is this button here for? Uh, that's the sinking button. So I hit that to make it sink? Yeah. Why is it blinking? Because it's out of sync right now. Let's see if there's any songs for Scrappy Doo. Oh, that works. That's really loud and creepy. I I didn't even have to play it the whole way. It's just the opening credits. <laughs> so, right before the language curses on television, it shoots off. And it goes and zooms in to destroy Ocorp. Now remember, this is all off of my just winging it. And destroyed Ocorp is a corporation known in the Scooby-Doo universe as basically destruction. They they destroy a lot. Uh, where are you, convention? Destroyed's convention center. And recently. Destroido has converted their actual hall into a con into a convention center for uh, these fans of the paranormal to come and waste their money on novelty possessions and icons. I'm just going to throw the icons out for everyone. And then I'm going to assign them so that way you guys can actually move them. Okay. Bill, I can't get the left right thing to work because this stupid bars in the way. Hmm? The left right I can't do left right. You should be able to move your tokens. Everyone should just give it a try. And then you're just going to make sure they're all linked to your characters so you can move them. So I can move them from page to page. Good. Okay. So somebody teleported.
What? You oh. teleported Daphne somewhere. She's in right there. Where? With Fred. Oh, Fred's over Daphne. I'm sitting here like, what? Where the hell did they go? Deidre. Deidre. Alright, so... Well, the Scooby game was off chasing down Daphne's mom. Scrappy hired a bunch of actors. And he's sitting inside of this one convention center where a bunch of nerds are going on and on about Mystery Incorporated. Listen. I am going to pay each and every one of you $500 a day for one whole week. We, I already solved that case that Crappy is on and running around on. And his friends and their little club, which don't love me. Uh, well, $500 will probably pay for some shoelaces, um... Uh... For uh, Deirdre's uh, gym shoes, so she'll she'll go with it. Is there smoking inside the convention center? Yeah, yeah. Fine. The, doesn't matter. So, um, Mr. Ted, was it? Yes, that's right. Tell me, how good are you at making traps? I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not that good. Um, how good are you at tackling? I, I'd rather not. I'm, I'm, I can. Hmm. He's a strapping young man. Wasn't talking to you, Deidre. <sighs> okay. Alright. Well, Thelma. It's pronounced Thelma. Yes. How good are you at computers? Thelma looks up from her machine and looks back down. Ah, fuck. We're all with it. <laughs> what is she wearing? Who? Um, Thelma. This isn't something ungodly, is it? Thelma! Why don't you dress in something a little more appropriate than a nerd outfit? Is there any apparel places here in the convention center? Because I do have high fashion as my skill, and I want to make over Thelma. Ah, <sighs> fine. Okay, so where is it? So you would go outside, and you would actually head towards the main lobby for the convention center. Which you were talking, like, number 15. Okay, so... And that's where people would actually be able to, like, buy... You know, items and stuff. If you notice, there's the truck that lets all the product in from the back door. Ah. So, that's why it will Okay, I'm going to grab Thelma by the hand and drag her over there. So, Thelma's rather frustrated. She gets dragged, she drops the machine, and Scrappy goes and looks at her, and he goes, No, 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 this background won't do. And he turns on the webcam and stands in front of it. Oh, and you hear a picture snap. <laughs> when, when we're in the um, place here? Mm -hmm. Good before shot. Make sure you get the after shot. Uh. Are you seeing how much you make it look like? See how good it comes out? Yeah. I mean, I don't have a lot to work with here. So any kind of success would be a miracle. So this is what fifty-three. Thank you looks very like. much. Thank you very much. And what do you do? You have to go roll under. Hmm. What do you have to roll under? Well, I got a fifty-six. Okay. So and I got a fifty-three and a fifty-six for skill. So I succeeded in making a mountain out of that molehill. Okay. So what do you want her to look like? Um, let's something low cut, black. You know, maybe down to the knees on the dress. And um, let's slick that hair back. And lose the glasses. Can we get some can we get some contacts? But 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 these are fakes. Oh, oh, even better then. We can just fake that you have contacts. That's great. I'm gonna take the glasses and just throw them into the nearest trash barrel. Okay. 
Okay. You know what? I've got a better idea on how to pick it. So we can just grab it quickly. Like that, Corey? 80. I threw the glasses and totally missed the trash barrel and smashed them off the wall. Like that? What? What are you looking for? for? Which look would look good? There's that one. There's that. Go back up one. Let me see that one. Oh, the vampire one? Yeah, that one looks good. Here's your new Thelma. I don't know why they didn't do that years ago. <laughs> the way you did that, oh god. Okay, well, did anything happen while we were doing this other than someone taking pictures? And of course, I will post for them. Uh, we will find out in a second. Just gonna assign the new token to the character since you changed it. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but that was good. <laughs> okay. I always use my dice. Let's see. An 11. You got a crowd of fans all around you watching and live cameras videotaping you. Okay. So your characters become famous for being... Um, I tell Thelma to like the, do a little turn on the catwalk. Like the fashionistas of the thing. Okay. So you tell her to do a turn so she would attempt it. And that's a 42 on her attempting of actually just being able to keep with the decks. Well, cheerleading would probably work with that. Okay. So we'll have her do cheerleading. So she does it successfully. You were a cheerleader and you, and you dressed like that? Well... She 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 looks at us and she says and she's just like um, it was in my resume. <laughs> so did you get like hit on the head after high school or something? I was just dressing up as my favorite author. Your favorite author was a cheerleader? No, Dinkley, the one who writes books. That's from here. That does them on mystery stuff. Oh. Okay. When when she says Dinkley, let's see if he hears it, and he does. You hear coming from the hall, Fuck Dingley! <laughs> Scrappy comes bowling past, looks out and goes, I made you a better desktop, bitch. <laughs> oh, you're talking, you're talking to her? Yeah, he's, he's pissed. Okay. Okay, Fred. Yeah, he wakes up and goes, Jiminy Cricket! <laughs> Golly gee willikers. <laughs> so do you guys head out to the history machine since Scrappy's kind of already on his move, the way he's acting? Scrappy's just kind of like, ah! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Sounds good. And when you see Scrappy attempt to get in the van, um, you, you just kind of see him like struggling to sit on the on the driver's seat. Oh, can we go back in there and buy it like one of those children baby seats? How am I supposed to reach the pedals if we have baby seats? You're driving. Do you have a license? I'm Scrappy fucking do. <laughs> Does your picture actually have a license on your collar? <laughs> when. When I know you say guys, that, I, I see, I see his when, all the time. When you say that, he uh, looks over to Thelma and he goes, Thelma, make me a license. Um, she makes him a horrid looking thing that doesn't even look like a license and he goes, I got a license. <laughs> so do you guys get in the car with him or not? Why not? 
Yeah. When we get oh. in the car, you hear Scrappy scream stunt double, and you see a big guy walk out in a Scrappy suit. He sits in the wheel, <laughs> the car, and he starts driving. not gonna have the tokens be on there just because it's just us moving from one location to the next and we gotta clear these guys out well these from the last game okay so where do you guys want to go first hold on a minute are we here hmm did we arrive where do you want to go? You're inside what? the Destroidal van. We're in the Destroidal van? The, the history van. Okay, the well, when we arrive, does either Scrappy or Fred get the door for the ladies? Scrappy probably would, because Scrappy's a pervert. Very well, then. I pat the dog on the head and say good boy. But where you want to go is the question. I don't know. What are we doing? He wants to go solve mystery. Which mystery? Which mystery do you want to solve? I didn't know there was a mystery. Scrappy looks over at them. The mystery is how come a cheerleader was looking like a, a computer nerd. Scrappy just looks at the three. I solved that, by the way. He goes, uh... Pretty quickly, actually. Look. We're in Crystal Cove. There's a mystery on every goddamn venue there is. Oh, I can't, if I we go to that. a crab shop, there's probably a crab monster. If we go to the water, there's probably Nessie. If we go to the goddamn theater, you'll probably find a phantom. Well, I have to go to the ladies' room, so... I go into the Destroyer Corporation to use their lady room and check myself out in the mirror. Okay. When you're in there, you see this it's everybody else talking. Whoop, didn't pop up. Typed in the wrong thing. And you see this thing sitting behind you, and you can see through it where the light switch is supposed to be, right next to the door, and it's just wolfing down cake. In the ladies' room. In the ladies' room. And it doesn't look like a lady, but it's got a bow in its hair. <laughs> okay, um, walk around it, and go over to the mirror, and check myself out. I like your bow. I completely oh. am not showing this on the right screen for you guys. Not having a very good hair day today. That is what uh Deedva sees. I might want to grab Deedva and throw him in there. Okay, so I'm in the ladies' room. You're in the ladies' room. Taking a little bit longer than usual. Unfortunately, somebody put down the window in the van on the way here, and now my hair just needs to be recouped. And this guy is standing right near the door, just woofing down cake. Okay. Just being, like, obnoxious as hell. Alright. What are the others doing? Cutscene. <laughs> Actually, yep. no. We're saving the cutscene in case we need it. So... What's going on, Fred? You see Scrappy getting frustrated behind the wheel, and you see uh, Thelma sitting there on her laptop. Uh, Ted is going to just kind of creepily uh, look at uh, Velma. Um, yeah, how many more hits does her webcam get now that she's been made over? <laughs> um, um, oh, you doing the roll for it? I can if you want it. 98! Holy crap! <laughs> friend request, friend request. <laughs> She's saying they're like, block, 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 deny, block, block, block. 
Why are you staring at me, Ted? So I was, <clears throat> I was just uh, checking out your new your your new makeover. Yeah. Nope. I'm gonna go uh, find a mystery. All right, keep taking the van, but <laughs> I'm gonna drive the van into the building. She gets out. And heads towards the bathrooms. But she's gonna take her a little bit. Okay. What does uh, Deidre do? Well, I was just doing some maintenance on the hair, and um, she's not gonna get to where I am before I'm done. It's gonna be a little bit, because it's trying to get through the whole convention center. Okay, are there any security cameras in this place? Um, yeah, but where not in the bathrooms. No, but when I come out into the hallway here. Where are they? Pretty much on the corners. The best way to say it would be the edges of the corners. Oh, so like over where you're doing that right there? Yeah. Okay, I am going to walk over to the security camera and start you posing. You're going to stop posing? Yes, start posing for the security camera. I'll actually I'll call, Deirdre, I'll call uh, Thelma over as well. But... She looks confused at you and she's just like, what do you want? It's like, I'm like, okay, see that right there? Show me Tiger. Show me... Animal in the jungle. No, no, <laughs> and no. And right when she says that, these doors bash open, and you can kind of tell it's on a cot, even though you, even though it's uh, looks see through. Mm -hmm. And this guy is coming out, and it's bigger than last time, and it's still gobbling down food, and it just looks at you guys and just goes, <clears throat> covers its mouth. Still green, but it looks like it's about to explode. Okay, I'm gonna go around the corner. Um, wait, is that an ectoplasmic uh, spectral over there? It looks like a ghost made out of hair gel. That's what an ectoplasmic spectral is, moron. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saved your social life, and all of a sudden you turn uh, on me. It hits. Uh, I'm like Dr. Frankenstein, and you're well. It spits goo all over, all over Thelma, and the thing rolls past her and actually physically hit nudges her, and it just rolls down the thing, and you can see this kind of like hose in the middle of the stomach, with a weird projector thingy. <laughs> And it goes sliding down towards this direction. Ah. Uh, I don't think that was real. Okay, I'm going to yell at it like, I worked on her for at least half an hour. Do, do you know how hard I worked to try to make her reasonably appealing to other human beings? And now, she, oh, go comb your hair before it sets like that. Uh, no, I'm going to solve this. You see Thelma running towards it, and she picks up her radio oh, and radios to Scrappy and goes, Scrappy, there's a fake ghost coming your way. I'm going to contact uh, Ted on the cell phone and go, OMG, ghost, fake, come here. Ted's gonna try to figure out how to open up his text message and uh, <laughs> and, and and look at Scrappy. Uh, he Scrappy grabs the phone, flips it open, and then you see uh, him slap the hand of his stunt double, and he switches back to his normal self. And it's just like, um, yeah, you're an idiot. Here's the text. OMG. Ghost fake. What's OMG stand for? Oh my god, he doesn't know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not your god, it's my god, shithead. So he goes walking in. You see pedestrians running around crazy in the actual shopping area and you see people that were supposed to be standing there to sell merchandise trying to cover up the merchandise as quick as they can they're going 
Hurry, hurry up, hurry up. And then you see over here one guy not covering up any of his stuff and he's just kind of like, hey. He just, he's just sitting there and he's just kind of like, big target, come on, come on. Yeah, I got a call. You were trying to get in the room, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this thing goes by and it's spraying all the merchandise it can. And you see it targeting exactly for the, f the guy dressed up as Fonzie. Retro's 50 look. Like it. I'm going to take a pick. Just with myself. Hey. Away. Fred, didn't you say you could tackle? His name's Ted. Ted. Yes. A little, uh, yeah. Well, aren't you like the quarterback on the football team? Tackle. <laughs> Here goes nothing. He calls him the stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, he calls him the stunt double. <laughs> he, he can't do that. He's going to break a bone. Yeah. What's your stunt double's name? <laughs> oh, it's Kyle Westwood. Okay. Okay, so you see this. This Is he young and everything, I'm guessing? Um, yeah, yeah, he's young. So you see this Kyle Westwood come out, and are you going to attempt to hit him? Yeah, tackle him. Okay. To, like, to like here. So roll me for your build. Or would it just be my stunt double? It would be the same thing as you, even though it's a stunt double. Okay. And that is not it. Uh, I can look it up for you. Your build well, is a well, 25. Or, Power yeah. tools, construction, photography. And it, it's supposed to be on what, on the low end or the high end is better? So I'd go by his build, I would guess. 25 or less. Yeah, so you have to get 25 or less on your roll. Oh, 5 or less is a critical. I got an 82. Wow, that's So he like goes to tackle the thing, and he gets stuck on the machine, <laughs> the, the little go cart oh. thing. And now he he's most likely screaming while this... He can figure out you know, easily that this thing isn't a ghost because he, the projection is actually stuck with, in his side. Not like hurting him, but just like blocked. And the slime. And you see the hose that's spitting out the slime just kind of like drizzling. <laughs> Careful, Ted, dear. You're getting your gooey juice over everything. I gotta grab the picture of the guy that I was picturing doing it. Who's that? That's Chuck Norris image. I oh, know, but who is that? That is the guy that's on the bottom of the cot that you can clearly see now because Fred critically failed. Ted critically failed uh, stopping the cot. Okay, I'm gonna yell, Great job, Ted! Now grab the guy under the cart, Scrappy. Ah. Scrappy looks around, he goes and he grabs, uh, where the hell did the dice go? Right there. It's too bad, you got no too, what about him? Yeah. He goes and he grabs one of those foam boffer swords off of the table, oh, nice. and he hurls it. And he gets a 17, so you see the sword go full speed, hits the guy on the cot with the hot end, not the soft end. And he goes falling to the side with this big black bruise showing up on his shoulder. And he's just like, ow, ow, ow. And then you hear Mr. Fonzie play over there. Yo, dad, you all right? I don't think this is going to work much anymore. <laughs> Shut up. You were named after the classics. <laughs> So what I'm do you guys I'm gonna, do? I'm I'm tagging out with my stunt 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 double one, and uh, and he's gonna yell. Um, Serves you right, you young whippersnappers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Deirdre's gonna roll her eyes at that remark. Be like, what's he talking about? Um, Ted, tackle the guy, the one that was underneath there, and then take his mask off. 
Got it. I'm gonna call the stunt double back in and uh, oh no, attempt, <laughs> attempt to tackle him. Okay. So you go to attempt it. I'm gonna take a pick. So you go to tackle him and you tackle the wall. Okay. I can Photoshop that. <laughs> Actually, no. What's her name? Can Photoshop that. You know, real people have real friends. Wait a minute, we're all on a computer right now. I shouldn't be saying that to her. <laughs> Scrappy walks over frustrated at the group, and he goes, Now, now, we don't need Mystery Incorporated to solve this. You've got the history be gone team here. I wave to our fans. And he gestures to um, Deedva and Thelma, and then he points over to Ted, and he goes, He's a mascot. It's okay. We felt bad for him. And the next thing you see is he jumps up on the table so he's at the height of the sun. And he goes, Your name is really Fonzie, isn't it? Yeah, my dad really liked happy days. And you're not happy, are you? Not really. Is it because your dad tried to... Fr Come up with this whole elaborate scheme so you guys can earn lots of money off of your insurance? No. I want to go to a concert. Well, you're going to jail. And you, Mr. Senile Chuck Norris cosplaying old man. I take a rude remark to that. Why did you build this getup? Well, I really wanted to run into meddling kids, but they're not here. You see Scrappy's head turn almost backwards when he hears that? Okay, I'm going to point out that um, Thelma, even, even when she's covered in the goo, it just looks slick and she looks downright sexy. And that's how good I made... Oh, I made... I... I, um... Helped her with her fashion and things like that. Even when she's covered in goo, she looks downright sexy. Thelma just like rolls her eyes at we get some camera Diva, shots and she movie? starts walking past the cameraman just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you see Scrappy when no security guards are looking. He succeeds. Scrappy comes running off the table and he full speed kicks the father in the head. Into a consciousness. Click. And then you see him just kind of like lift his leg. And Click. everybody kind of freaks out. <laughs> and you hear it. And he's like, yep. Good job, R. Kelly. I don't even know who you're talking about. Oh, okay. And Scrappy kind of walks off back to the machine. So are the police coming to arrest these people? You see two security guards uh, kind of stop walking over, and one of them goes, Did someone piss on this man? <laughs> wait, 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 what's his appearance? The security guard? No, the Frankenstein. Frankenstein? He's dressed up as Fonzie. How, yeah, what's his appearance? What would, would, would you say? His appearance related to the dice in 86. 86. Um, phone number. Hey. You get one phone call, and I'm going to hop in the mystery machine, too. Uh. Oh, it's like, where are you moving? Okay, Ted, Ted what do Ted, you want to do? He, he, he's going to look right at the camera and say, looks like another job well done. Good job, team. <laughs> um, is Scrappy going to open the door for the ladies? Scrappy walks over. He opens the door and he looks up. After you! Okay, hold on a minute. Uh, stunt double, I'm gonna need you to do this scene for me. Oh my <laughs> god! And yes, she is wearing a miniskirt, and so is Max. He, so you he, get a clear view. You see Scrappy cover his eyes in pain, <laughs> and he starts crying. And then he looks to Thelma, and he goes, Thelma, after you! And she walks to the other side, opens the door, and gets in. <laughs> Stupid I'm gonna bitch. take off some of her hair gel and 
So there you're you covering go. yourself in bits of slime. <laughs> you're covering Hair yes. Okay, so you guys are back on the main page. You solved one crime, and it's at the halfway mark where we would do commercials. So we will cut to a commercial. Having a bad hair day? Glowing Ghost Hair Gel is the hair gel for you, for all your life and afterlife. Glowing Ghost Hair Gel. And then you'd have the second commercial come up and it will go, Did you ever wish that you would look like a fabulous movie star? A fabulous, <laughs> amazing, seductive succubus from hell? Well, have we got the thing for you? Deidre's line of clothes. At your local Macy's. And you see somebody posing as Deidre. Flip her hair. Look at the camera and go. It's okay to dance. We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Cause your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance. And when this song is playing, what you hear and well and see is the next episode talking about the next game. And it's like, did you ever wish that you were? Did you ever feel like you didn't fit into the crowd? Feel like you were alone and that nobody really liked you? I never have that problem. We weren't talking to you, Deidre. We were talking to the freaks, like you, Shaggy. Well, gee, I'm, uh, I'm not really that much of a freak, and, oh my god, did that thing bite me? Well, you're a freak now. Now, let's wait till the full moon hits, and you might want to move to a town where it's safe for monsters to live. I'm gonna turn into a monster? Oh, you will. You will, in one week from now. So it goes from that to saying, welcome back to Scrappy-Doo and uh, the History Machine. And you guys are inside the car. So, uh, History Inc. Good job on the ghost thing, even if one of you couldn't tackle him for your life. But, uh, what do you think? Shall we go to the Crab Shack? Shall we go get a beer? Maybe visit a restaurant? Uh, what's the most expensive restaurant in town? That would be... Crab.net. Let's go there. Ted, Ted shots out. Bingo! Yeah, they have bingo there. It's a hotel, too. <laughs> so, you got the car drives to the hotel. Drag this to the front so we can actually access it. Whoop, that's not the crew. Well, that's why we have them all saved like that on character sheets. So you guys pull up, and the first thing you see is the doorman. Well, hello, welcome to uh, Crab.net. We hope you enjoy. We hope you enjoy your stay. Would you care dining, or would you like to get a room? He looks at everybody quietly, and he goes, um. By the way, there's, there's no pets allowed, and Scrappy's like, Well, that sucks then. Hey, uh, Ted, I guess you're gonna have to sit outside. Uh, I was talking to you. You see Scrappy's eyes glisten. How come I was so good at Scrappy? 
And he runs up and he punches the guy in the groin. And the guy heals over and goes, We'll make an exception. We'll make an exception. I'll step over the guy and uh, find a table. Okay. Something. Oh, here we go. Right in the corner. Scrappy's going to walk yeah. in. Do a couple of spins on the little circle doors because everyone loves those doors. And then he's going to go towards the dining room. And so will Thelma. And she's just kind of following quietly behind with her notepad. And I'm guessing the cat is following behind. Uh, he, he looks confused when he comes to these doors, but, but eases his way through. <laughs> So, um, Tad, Tad, what, what, what are we, uh, what are we doing here? Like, we don't have money for this. Scrappy looks at Thelma and then looks at Tad and he's just like, I was supposed to be sitting in between both girls. I am going to order the most expensive meal and expensive wine they have, but Max is going to eat it because I have to watch my girlish figure. Huh. Okay. Oh, what's that over there? Is that a pool? This? Number 10? Mm-hmm. Um... It's a fountain, but... Yeah. Okay. Go in the ladies' room. Get out the eye-catching apparel. Mm-hmm. And, um, kind of just, uh, sit by the fountain. Maybe okay. light. Yeah. See, it's in by the fountain. The fountain. The radio comes up. And he's this little kid. And he's like, gee, really, kids? Are you guys like the Scooby gang? Hey, kid, how old are you? I'm only this many, and he holds up, like, ten fingers. Well, I'm a PG-13 sight to see, so get out of here. Go get a golden waiter. <laughs> the kid wanders off. And then this guy shows up. So, um, I heard you guys are like big things around these parts, and my son would really like your autograph, Mr. Scooby Doo. Mr. Mr. What now? He, he looks at, at, uh, Deidre, and then he looks at Ted, and he's like, One of you better get this moron out of my sight before I. Have some meatballs for dinner. Click. Take a picture. Okay. He looks over to Ted. She's not going to do anything. Maybe you can hit it for once. Oh, wait a minute. There was something I have to do. Selfies. <laughs> the fountain behind me will look really nice. <laughs> Oh, you there? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You, you guys just so, kind of like looking. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna half-heartedly try to hold him back. So you go and you kind of grab his tail, and you can tell he's not trying to get to the guy at all. When he sees that someone is is like comforting him he does his little temper tantrum that he does on every show that you've ever seen of scooby-doo and he starts running in the air pretty much except for he's like you can tell that he put like something on his shoes so he's just like on skates so he's not going anywhere and it's just like let me at him let me at him let me at him and he starts you see him bite down on something and he starts foaming at the mouth <laughs> and the guy just starts backing away, and he's just like, you know, you know what? The nurse is like on the house, so uh, 
I'm gonna go and uh, get you your Vader. Yeah, yes, your Vader. <laughs> and when he goes, the next thing you see is this. Or not. And you see this thing kind of walk in, glances around a little bit, and it just starts calling. And you see people start screaming and running away, and someone screams, it's the Phantom Source. Click. Taking a picture. You take a picture, you see it's physically on the picture. Okay. Ted, tackle that thing. Uh, he's, he, he's, he's admiring the construction work of this table, and uh, <laughs> just noticing how well it's built. And then, then gets up kind of slowly and tags in a stunt double and uh, attempts to tackle it. <laughs> okay, give me a roll. Nice job, Kyle. Well, it's animatronic, so I'm considering the fact that you actually hit the thing. So you hit it, and you can feel that the thing's metal, and its head kind of twitches sideways a little bit, and you hear it go. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> um. See, so Deirdre's oh. gonna ask Thelma, "Are you on my face?" It's 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 that made-up computer company that for social networking that we say so we don't get sued by MySpace or Facebook. No. Oh well, here she, I'll put you on now. She looks it, at it and she, she looks at it and she pulls her laptop back and she's like, "Okay." I'm going to see what frequencies are going on around this area, because I can. Uh, I'm going to grab the laptop. And I got a three. She needs to... She got a three, dude. Okay. She's... 84. She no. dead on sp figures out that the radio frequencies are coming from close by, and it's being controlled. Well, yeah, it's a robot. Like, it's dinosaur. being controlled, like, within a couple of rooms of this area. Oh. So, um... Does it say that on her laptop? Does... Just so everybody knows, this... This thing is, uh, being controlled by a really short-waved radio frequency, which means that it's probably within at least a couple of rooms, and the way it's moving, and most likely somebody in this room... Did we piss anybody off recently? Scrappy looks at her. Looks at... Uh, Deedva, and then looks at Ted, who's, I'm guessing, still wrestling with the animatronics, and he's gonna go, Just pull the cord! Pull the damn cord! Ted doesn't hear it. Well, you guys have things well in hand. I am going to go over and... Where are you heading? Uh, I'm gonna go see what's going on in this room over here. Okay. You walk into that room, mm -hmm. and you find the crew of Monster Squad. The bunch of fancy guys, basically dressed up in their costumes, and they're all talking about their 50th reunion for this amazing, amazing movie that they worked on in Crystal Cove. Okay, I'm like, um, hi, how you guys doing? Um, well, we're having our dinner and, uh, talking about how many annoying fans we got to deal with at the convention tomorrow. And you hear that from the lagoon guy. Alrighty. Anything happening while I'm talking to them? When you're talking to them... Oh, wait, is he here? You notice him. Oh, okay. Like, hey. how's, it, how's it going? You want to maybe meet me over at uh, one of those number nine rooms over there? Um, In about five minutes? 
Look, I just had to pay a fine for my father and me. That's okay. I'm fine. At the convention center. Take, I'm like, I'm fine. You're f- because you and your friends decided to get me arrested for trying to do insurance fraud. So, um... Are any of the other people here better looking than him? I don't think so. They look kind of gross. They're all pretty old except for him. He was the mascot on the original show. Oh, okay. Trying to find the other image. I have one more that's supposed to be there. Here we are. So, he just looks at, at the group and then he's like, yeah, yeah, well, we don't get paid for the reruns anymore, so I figured why as well make a good amount of bucks by faking an injury from a ghost. Wait, wait, did you dress your dad up as that ghost from the TV show again? Yes. I was wondering where my cat went. You, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, come up over here. Yep. Make sure they all get a good view. So you're supposed to be like Frankenstein Jr. Yeah. And what are you supposed to be? Um, the creature from the Black Lagoon. I came out of the Black Lagoon video. And I... Help. Black guy there next to the Frankenstein? I was going kind of... Oh, you're going clockwise. Kind of clockwise. Um, excuse me. I'm everybody's lovable cook. I'm Boney. Boney the cook. No. Oh. And you are a vampire? Uh, he just wears that get up. Like, you can see the black suit on me with the bones. But he, he physically got his fangs put in. Oh, so you're not really a vampire, you're just a wannabe? Well, I would like to suck your blood if you'd let me. And this is the, um... The creature monster. from the Black Lagoon. Hey, how you doing? And what... Uh, and Hi, you, how you doing? And who are you supposed to be? Look, it's really hot in this suit. Maybe you can help me, like, take my head off or something. Wait, who are you? She, the Black Lagoon guy just kind of glares at you, and then... No, I'm talking to the one at the, the end The Grim Reaper now, I know. What who, what, what, are you, what? did you say your name was? <sighs> my name is, uh, Francis. Francis. Yes, Francis. What are, you, what are you supposed to be? A farmer? Oh. I don't get it. Uh, he, he was the guy that was just helping us out moving stuff. He's just one of those fanboys. Yes, yes, Francis. Well, I don't care what you're supposed to be. I know Frankenstein. That guy's made of bones. You, that guy sucks. He's in a in that black, black cloak, and, and he's got like some kind of farming tool. What he has in his hands is a bowl, but underneath you can tell his hands are underneath the bowl, and they're doing something, like they're moving around. Oh. Wait, like a remote control? It's a bowl, miss. It's a bowl. Oh. Well, anyways, picture, 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 pi- pictures. Okay, so you take a picture? Yeah, I'll get stand next to uh, what's his name there and take a picture. Actually, no, I'll get in between everybody here. There we go. So picture. you lay out on the table and take a picture. <laughs> Selfies with each of them. Um, you 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 owe me like ten dollars for that picture. And when you're doing the selfie with uh, the Grim guy, you Mr. Francis, Wait, he like, Grim guy. What do you what do you mean? I thought you were a farmer. He basically shifts his weight so you can't see what's in the bowl. What are you texting somebody? And he's just kind of like. I'm texting my daughter about how beautiful you are. Oh, okay. Ready? Selfies. Yes. So what is what exactly are you supposed to be like? Like do you shovel like dirt or something? Okay, so we're gonna jump back to the other scene where she's antagonizing the guy, and when he's been moving around, you see this thing kind of like stumbling back and moving the wrong directions and. You hear it going, <laughs> So, um, is anyone going to stop that thing? Or are we all just going to wait here till no that one serves us? Ted was beating it up. Well, yeah, Ted's, Ted's stunt double's pretty tired from fighting with it, so <laughs> well, I'm going to switch back, and, and Lanny's going to walk over here, take a seat. So he walks over there, and Thelma gets frustrated and looks at the thing. She's just kind of like, hang on, guys. 
41 on her acting. Oh, I'm going to send all of them picture, the pictures of me and these guys and go, hey, look who I'm hanging out with, the Monster Squad. And the acting is a 54. So she walks over and then she screams on the top of her lungs, And she's just freaking out and is screaming for help. And the next thing you see is the security actually shows up. And I'm on the wrong section for security guards. Okay. I'm going to walk back out. Ted says, what? You see these two officers come running in, and they're pointing their guns at the animatronics, and they go, wait a second, weren't you not on duty today? Yeah, weren't you not on duty today? Hmm. And you hear these two guys just like talking to each other for a second when they're looking at this thing, and it's like, anyone else feel like deja vu? Didn't this happen already before? Yeah, it was some psychotic kid with a freaking remote control. He was mad because his daddy never gets a day off. Hmm. Well. You know. That's that's really just sad. Yeah. Why don't we get days off? Fuck. <laughs> we never get days off. Scrappy jumps on the table and he goes, Excuse me. But there is a damsel in distress screaming. And the way she looks, one of you might get laid tonight if you save her from this thing that is clearly real and not fake or made of metal. Oh, oh, that's good. Let's shoot it. Yeah. Let's shoot the thing. <laughs> and they Ted's going to Ted's going to fall out of his Picture. chair and and land over here. They shoot at the thing, and it hits dead on, and it bounces off of it, and hits a wall. <laughs> I want to steal a swig of uh, Ted's Red Bull. <laughs> it's kind of chalky. <laughs> One of the officers runs quickly over to the Thelma and helps her out, and he tries to cut a feel, and we'll see if he does. He does, and she gets mad, and Let's see if she hits him. Nope. nope. She goes to punch him and she she just kind of flails. 69. I think she does something else. You rolled a 69. I know. We're not playing your game rules. <laughs> well, Thelma's getting kind of upset that the police are paying all their t attention to her. Even though she did make her look that good, actually. So she, she should get at least 10% of whatever uh, Thelma gets. You know, like an agent. This, this guy looks over and he runs over to here. And we'll see if he's smart enough to see if he can pull anything. And he is. He sees that there's a little antenna. And he snaps it. And this machine just topples over to its side, twitching. Fred, Ted's go gonna, take the mask off the dinosaur. Yeah, Ted, Ted, Ted's going to run up and, and take the antenna from him and say, got it. Huh. Good job, everybody. Mystery solved. Is this, are you Fred Jones by chance? No, he's Ted. He's Ted. You yeah. know, I'm going to go tell the mayor that he's got someone running around pretending to be the mayor's son. And, uh, who the hell is that? I'm, I'm Scrappy-Doo. Woo! Yeah, uh, we're going to call Animal Control. So he starts walking out. Does anyone do anything? Well, I, we've solved the mystery, guys. I think we should uh, get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna carry this, uh, this thing back to the van. What kind of town calls animal control for a, for a small dog? But when there's a giant phantom dinosaur going around, they kind of just like don't do anything until you start screaming at him. When she says that, this other officer stops uh, fondling and goes, "What? What? Oh." Oh, that's because the mayor. The mayor tells us that we're not supposed to solve any 
mysteries because they bring more tourists and they make us more money. Like, he's already ordered Fantasaur t-shirts and uh, the glob of gooey goodness. Well, let's go to the mayor's house then. Let's go to the mansion. Let's confront this guy. Where's the Where's the car? Uh, the car would be at the outside the doors. Ted 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 li li lifts up his sweater and and shows that he's already sporting uh the the phantom uh dinosaur. Yeah. He's already Thelma, sporting the t-shirt. Thelma looks frustrated. Walks around the empty halls. Why is she frustrated? She probably got the most action she's ever had. Like in opens her the whole doors life. over here, and goes. So you're here, and you're here, and I don't even know you, and I can't wait, find wait, is this a TV show? No, no, we're we're here because we're having our 50th anniversary for Monster Squad, and uh, you guys are all the ones who get killed by the children, because yeah. I didn't think there was a little kid Frankenstein. Oh, no, 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 we're the TV show Monster Squad. We're not that, that raunchy, vicious, violent show with kids with guns and cigarettes and virgins. Not for long, anyway. she, she looks at the camera, looks at them, and then she goes, So, you guys are off that 80s, that 80s TV show sitcom about superhero monsters. Are there any windows as I'm walking by here I can wave to them? Where are you walking? I'm walking behind them. Oh, you're walking outside? Yeah. No, there's no windows on this thing. There's a conference room. Oh, okay. So I'll crawl out a window here or something. And... Where's the yeah. van? The Ted, van's Ted, outside on the street. I haven't Ted, been able to find Ted's going to pull out yeah, an, an old school the camera and take a picture of these oh. chairs and table. The van went into stealth mode. So, when yeah. she's doing that, Scrappy's going to look around. He's going to go, Hey. Ted, do you mind doing yeah. something for me? I have dog hands, so uh, can you like touch the computer and tell me where the signal's coming from? I'll give it my best shot. It, it will give you a little bleepy thing. It will tell us exactly where it's coming from, so you should just like do it. All right, and then I guess Ted's gonna fondle this machine and see see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do a roll, you just have to get below 75. Just because it's basically right on the machine. Alright, so you know what room it's coming from. And it's coming from this room. Which one? Uh, room 12. The one with okay. the Monster Squad. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make my way over there. Just casually. Okay. Can't move too fast. Scrappy's gonna follow you. I'll saunter. Hey guys, the van turned invisible. You stupid bitch, we parked on the other side of the road. Why would you park in front of the doorway where you're going to investigate? Ah, your mother's a bitch. Yeah, she was. So, is Thelma trying to steal my Frankenstein? Scrappy would walk in and be like, so what do we got here, the freak show? Um, they're having a reunion, Mr. Scrappy, sir, and uh, someone in here clearly has whatever was controlling that dinosaur. I think it's the farmer. Why do you think it's the farmer? Why, what are you supposed to be? He's the Grim Reaper. He's a I'm Reaper? Gonna... Oh my god, I gotta go get the cops. I'm gonna... When I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna jump over this table like, and try to tackle There's a Reaper him. in that <laughs> room. Help! Help! Well, what were you saying? I was saying I was gonna try to jump over this table and 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 take off his his hood. All right. Okay. I so do me a roll. <laughs> For you and your Kong in the stunt double, right? Uh yeah, of course. All right. Kyle Westwood. Is it Westwood okay. or Westwood? So you jumped over, and. You completely missed grabbing him. And then you notice that the guy is on a stool. And he quickly slides off. And he starts trying to make a run for it. Well, I never knew he was that small. And none of them really realize it or care. And they're all just kind of like, whatever. And what you see on the table is a bowl with a little TV monitor inside of it. 
and a remote control like buttons on the side of it with an antenna sticking out. Okay, I'm gonna run up to the security guard guys and be like, "There's a guy in that room and he's raping people." What? He's he's like a rapist. He said he's a raper. You see both cops go running full speed towards that room with their guns drawn and ready to shoot. Okay, I will chase them. Remember, I'm still wearing the bikini, so. Mm-hmm. I cut their attention. Go in there! Shoot him! <laughs> Scrappy would be yelling, somebody get the door. None of them stop him. Does anybody attempt to get the door? This is the question. Velma? Velma does? Well, Thelma. So she goes to block the door, and once she pushes on the edge of the door... Yep. You hear two gunshots go off. And Thelma goes down. I gotta do damage for guns. Uh, let me double check. I thought it was a D10 or a D12. Could be time for the stunt double. Well, what's that say? Looking for it. Pistol. Oh, yeah, there's set damage. I would roll dice for it, but. What's it say? 15. 15, so she just took 30 points? Crap. So when she gets put there, um, and she hears the two gunshot effects, she goes, Stunt double. <laughs> and you see this girl who looks like a complete carbon copy of her, except for that she's got blonde hair. And she puts on a wig, and then she goes, Ugh! And falls to her side. So what's she down to? The stunt double's down to four points? Yeah, the stunt double's down to four points. And she's going to be unconscious. Oh, come on. Right, I'm like, yeah, thank you, you stupid program of randomness. Okay. We, sh we got him! We got him! We got him! What is the uh, Grim Reaper doing? The Grim Reaper is heading towards the door, and when he hears the shots, he starts running under these guys and heading towards the exit. I'm like, no, not her. The, the farmer guy. They don't, they don't know who they shot. The door's shut. Okay, well, she recognizes the back of her because she made her over, so she's yeah. telling the cops, no, not her. The farmer guy. They go in. There's no farmer guy here. That guy, the one with the big shovel. And does anybody else point him out? And I am jumping up and down as I do it. I'm, I'm still hiding underneath the table. Yeah, hiding underneath the table. Scrappy yeah. is running and snapping. And he latches onto his leg. And this guy starts screaming. <laughs> And you can hear the same, the, the voice that you guys heard earlier from the waiter. And you hear him just being like, I want my daddy! I want my daddy! Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. I am going to attempt to uh, bind, um, bind um, Thelma's wounds with the two pieces of my bikini, and I'll wrap myself in my own towel. Why didn't that work? It did work. 99. That's Oops. Everything just kind of fell on the floor. Sorry, guys. And you guys <laughs> hear this kid, and the hood falls off, and he's got a dog now latched onto his leg who's, who's bleeding out and uh, trying to get away. Okay. I run my day! I don't distract anybody at all. When you do that, this cop gets distracted. Thelma is unconscious. 
this cop. That dog is the killer! And it's the rapist! No, not the dog. He goes to shoot at it, he misses, and he shoots the kid. Because <laughs> I got an 81 on him trying to shoot the, kid, the dog. Okay, I'm wrapping myself in a towel, and I'm going to attempt to bandage her up with my bikini. Again. Yeah, problem is you scrolled all the way up on the document, if you notice. Oh, I see. Yeah, you got an 86 this time. Okay, how much more damage do I cause to, uh... I don't know, let's see. Seven. You killed her. The stunt double is unconscious and going to the hospital. <laughs> but in well, the she, story, I, she, Selma has died. She had a wound on her neck. I was just tightening the bandage. Don't be angry. And then see he if the cop her kills the kid. The cop kills the kid by well, accident. I'm glad that he's And he dead. drops the gun and he goes... I am so dead. Wait, there's no cameras in this room. At least she died I beautiful. Can, I can get rid of the witnesses. And he says this out loud and looks at everybody. What are you talking about witnesses? You killed the guy who killed her after raping her. Yeah. Yeah, Ted, Ted, Ted's going to stand up, point at him, and say, It's the murderer rapist! To the cop? About the cop? Yeah, to the cop. Are you pointing at the cop or at the kid? The guy? No, the cop right here. The cop is going to attempt to shoot you. Oh, I need to load the other sides too. And he misses. 66. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop back down behind this table. And he's going to attempt to do a shot. And he misses. And another shot. Ted, tackle him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call him. Yeah, while well, I guess my stunt double's still out, and I'm gonna. <laughs> to, to, well, once again try to do a tackle <laughs> Scrappy walks over here and he leans against the thing and you see him take out a cigarette and he starts smoking and he goes what? I paid them I don't need to fucking worry about them <laughs> bad dog no oh, fuck yourself okay so you're like your uncle a coward alright so you're go Ted's going to tackle and you got a 44, so you hit him. Hey, she's not using her laptop anymore. I'm taking that. Dibs. Okay, so do you restrain him or are you just going for damage? I would like to restrain him. All right. So do an attempt to restrain. This I is against I'm... your build. Okay. So that's to be 25 or lower. It is not. <laughs> so, he starts hitting you, and he goes to shoot you again. Wait, okay, 97. <laughs> and this is where it gets really funny. When he goes to shoot you this time, now I don't what's know the if other you cop, can... What's the other cop doing? The other cop is staring at naked de uh, Deidre, like drooling. Well, I put the towel back on, but... Uh... How, what is his appearance? Him? Yeah. Don't know, let's see. 88. 88. Okay, uh, I'll keep him distracted by making out with him. Stunt double! Okay. So hey. the cop's getting made out with. And uh, December Alford will go off set to back to her trailer and get a cop copy while, while Max handles that. And this cop, when he goes to shoot at Ted, found out that he ran out of stunt double bullet. Well, not stunt double bullet, but dud bullets. Because he's shot off at least nine shots now. So he's like, dunk, dunk, dunk. Okay. <laughs> I guess December is talking with uh, the actress that plays Thelma. Sorry about that. Yeah, well, this was a shitty role anyways. I'm, oh, I know, I'm really? glad I don't have to deal with that perverted midget. Mm. Can't believe what they have my character doing right now. Poor Max. Yeah. Poor Max. Wait a second, you... What happened to my my stunt double? What sh what happened to her? Oh, she got raped to death. She's in the hospital, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, great. Well, at least the next film isn't for another week. Yeah. Okay. He's going to attempt to hit you. And he gets below his thing, so he hits you at the back of the gun. What is the thing for cops? 
What is the wizard stats? Their stats are in the books. Thunder humans. The most deadliest creatures of all. Switch robots, mimics, psychic, possessed humans, heavy tooth, mad scientist, blah 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 blah. Jack blah, blah. the Ripper. Oh, is it a different book? I thought it was like sidekicks. We're gonna use gunslinger for him. Really? Yeah. Well, go with uh, Bushi and just get rid of club instead of spear and make it pistol. Alright. So 50%. Yep. And they have 10 points before they get knocked out. Okay, so he goes and he attempts to swing at you with the gun and he hits you. So he does. In okay. So he does a little bit of damage, but not much. You gonna go for the stunt double? Oh, it is a stunt double. It is a stunt double. Yeah, it, it, right now it is the stunt double. But uh, in, in retaliation, Laney's gonna come back in, Ten points pick up club. this chair right here, and attempt to hit the cop. So Laney's coming in. Yeah, he's coming you in for the. You got a double team on him? <laughs> no, no, not a double team. What Laney's coming back in? He's gonna pick up this chair and try to hit it over this guy's face. Okay, do the roll. Laney goes to pick up the chair, and he has some trouble lifting it. <laughs> and the cop takes advantage of this, and the actor remembers that it's an old man. And he tries to be as gentle as possible, and he goes for trying to grab at his wrists, being like, I'm going to restrain you. <laughs> He's the one who killed the kid. He had the gun. And he succeeds, so he has you by, basically by, uh, like, handcuffed. Ted's gonna yell out, ow, oh, my wrist! <laughs> and then Scrappy cares. And Scrappy goes full speed, charging at him, and nails him in the nuts. The guy goes down like a sack of gold. And then because... I'll just do one roll to see if he would do it. And he would. Scrappy decides he's gonna treat the guy how the guy should be treated. And he picks up the pistol and he whacks him full speed across the head. Oh, you missed with Scrappy, got pissed off, and tackled the cop in the nuts. Okay. And then hit him over the head with a pistol. Okay, good. And he looks at the crew and he goes, You guys are all pains in the ass. Here's a 500 check for you. Here's a $500 check for you. Here's a $500 check for the bimbo that's naked in the hallway. Go. Mystery solved, gang. Yeah, go solve your fucking... Minds, and I am not uncuffing you. Don't have fun. Yeah, L L Lanny's gonna pick up the chair that he's. I guess he's handcuffed to the chair. Yeah. <laughs> and he just he's just gonna hit this unconscious cop on the ground, and 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 yell out, uh, "That's what you get, you punk kid." So when you do that, you kill the cop. <laughs> In the movie, yeah. not like you know. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so. That cop has been successfully uh, taken out of the taken out of the action. Yep. The action's over. So the movie's at its conclusion. When everybody's heading off, the monster squad pauses for a second. The the crew and they're like, "Well, we're gonna need someone that's gonna help us." And like, you know, uh, there's a lot of dead bodies here. Yeah, I'm not really so good with blood, man. I'm not. I'm not that good. I don't clean up. I'm sorry. Um. 
Hey, dog, do you want to be, uh, to help us try to get the... Go fuck yourselves. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> the good thing about Thelma is that she was able to live fast, die young, and leave a beautiful corpse. And you guys see Scrappy run full speed out of there as quick as he possibly can. And he pauses for a second, thinks, and he quickly runs into the kitchen. Are the end credits rolling? The end credits start rolling. Um, anybody who who uh, is smart, they would hear people screaming from the kitchen. So you might want to run as fast as you can. If you hear screaming, either towards or away the sound, away from the sound. I'm running away. You're running away. Yeah, me too. He, yeah, he's Deidre's gonna say, "Oh boy, away. here we go again." We'll meet you back at the van, Ted. Mr. Fonzie is going to look in, and then he's going to scream, Get down! <laughs> and the hotel blows up. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, is this the end of the movie? This is the end of the movie. And I'm going to use it since we can only use it once if we both agree on it. Cutscene! Cut to, to Ted and Deirdre driving off in the history machine. <laughs> Going, well, I'm glad we solved that mystery. <laughs> yeah, that was quite the doozy. Give me some more of that chalky Red Bull. You're being loud. Oh, I got a whole backpack full of it. Oh, good, good. <laughs> They're trying to sleep upstairs, and you're being loud with the door open. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you got to shut the door. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The game's end. The game's at the end. Okay. The cool. Yeah, it it'll end with them cheering, cheersing, cheersing. So, <laughs> let's see the ratings on this. What do you mean the ratings? Ratings on the audience views. You had 99 viewers out of 100. I think we should actually see if you get any views on the internet when you play this thing. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I don't do the internet then. Are you oh. kidding? I don't, the, people aren't going to be able to look for this thing. It's really hard to find. Link it to OddCL. It is on OddCL, but it's really hard to find. Like it's, You know what I mean? Where's your trash barrel? You know, oh. things on it. Right. It's like people aren't going to be able to look for a role-playing game that they don't know exists. You know, it's it's something that people would have to look up and see. Mm. So it's going to have some views, but it's not going to be, like, giant. Not for a while until we get this being known. But yeah, so... They gave you about the same rating they gave the other game, the other movie. It got a 70. Uh, let's see. Scrappy ratings. 93. People loved Scrappy. Because he's an ass. Ted, they gave an 87. They really liked Ted. <laughs> they felt that he, he, that he was really cute. And that he, he was like the lovable grandpa that everybody always wanted. Although he played the young, strapping young man. He was the lovable grandpa dressed up as a young man. <laughs> right. Deidre. 32. I'm gonna, I'm gonna the say... The opinions of the masses, the unwashed masses, do not really matter to Miss Alford. I'm gonna say, really, that's like a, a 60 because of the people. <laughs> because <laughs> they don't she's like a model. She, she was like a model character, which models usually get boosted because of their looks. And then Thelma got a four on the rolls, but she... They probably didn't like her dying. Yeah. They, they will say that they didn't like her dying, so her fame really went, uh, didn't go as good as they hoped. So we get to add to these things, right? Yep. So we're going to only do, uh, because of this session being kind of a shorter session, because we had to put everything all like, together. It was ba we basically played an hour and f about 15 minutes. No, an hour and 30 minutes. That's what we played. So what we're going to do is we're going to have everyone roll. Um, instead of 10 d10s, we're going to have them just be able to roll 5 d10s and put those wherever they wanted to in their skills. And then for the fame. 
I'm going to have it go up five points for everyone, and then an extra uh, three points for uh, Tad. Ted. Because Ted was the player character that people really liked. Awesome. Scrappy doesn't count. Scrappy was an NPC. <laughs> so. But yeah, so that's this session of the Late 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 Show. Um, next week we will be doing the Goolsville one that we had planned for today. And, uh, yeah. Next week will be really close to my birthday, so I'm going to relax. See you next week. That.